Hello everyone, this is Hacken. Today I'm going to talk about one of the useful tools in Grasshopper to add window moodings. Sometimes it is just okay to do, to do it by hand, but imagine if you have tens to hundreds of PC windows to do, I believe this tool will save you a lot of time. So now let's get started. This is your target window to add moodings to and we use surface as the input and set the input as the original surface offset the surface give a distance to offset and this distance is actually the depth of a moodling so in my case it is uh, uh, the unit is millimeters, so I put 150. You can change it accordingly. If it's in the wrong direction, put negative here, and it should be offset in the opposite way. And now we need to deconstruct the prep to find the right edges. So my technique is to find the right edges and divide the edges into the sequence of points. Connect the points to the according points on the, on the offset surface and make the lines and lock the lines to make the moodings. Quite straightforward and I will show you. If you do not know where the better lines on the toolbar, just press Control, Alt and left click and shows the exact location of it. And we, now we need to find the, uh, the right edge. The way we do it is to find the fir first to find the middle points of each edge and s deconstruct the points which give you uh, the, the Z coordinates. Sort the edges by Z coordinates of their middle points and you can check by list items the default input is zero which means the first element in your list while negative one gives you the last element so we have the lower level we have lower edge and the upper edge divide the edge divide the curve by length and now we need to input our moving spacing in my case I just use 1500 which is 1.5 meters and in this case you see the moving does not touch the end of the window so the fast way to solve the problem Is to get the uh, get the number of points first and give and give an estimate. So we have divide the edge into five segments, which means six points. And now we can divide curve by number. As we see that say it should be it's it is actually six points, which means five segments. So now we should divide, turn it down by one. Which would turn us a list of six points. Group the four batteries and save your time. And we do the same thing for the lower edge. We found the right points, and we need to do the same thing for the offset surface. Double check, and it's correct. So we need to find the curve on the closest point. 
point and input the points this upper to upper lower edge to lower edge let's see upper points to upper points lower points to lower points and we have noticed that say each list of the points uh, of, of the lines that are actually in the list if we use loft to make the moodings we need to graph it first press con press shift so it, sh it adds you like the little plus sign oops mm. the order is reversed I believe it is because when we deconstruct when we actually explode the original surface into the four edges the edges are, are ordered like one by one, which means the end of one edge is actually the start of the adjacent edge. So we just flip either of the final edge. Yes, correct. Now we have the moodings. Here comes another challenge. Sometimes we do not really want the edges of the moodings on the very ends of the uh, sides of the windows. How do we do it? Well, my technique is go back to the points. There's one tool called cow index. Use zero as the first input which means the very first element in the list do it again and now we put negative one as the input which cuts the uh, very last element out and we do the same thing for the lower edge so upper edge to upper edge everything is updated accordingly lower edge is lower edge now we've got it make the rest invisible and we just show the moodings see it's here and we'll bake it out into the Moodian layer and that's our Moodians will test with irregular shapes say we have a curved uh, window glass see and it's also there bake it it's working all right, now let's come to the cool part. Let's say we have three different sizes of boxes, which represents three different um, houses or architectural massings we need to add moodings to. Go to our inputs, set multiple surfaces, and you, we would like to select them all, and this will return us the moodings for all glass windows. Break them out. And that's our set of little moodings. Thank you. If you like it, you're also welcome to visit www.hackenly.com and uh, you can leave a message if you see the sphere is rotating clockwise or counterclockwise. 
Thanks for watching. Bye bye.